Alexander, Chairman of the Third Force Movement, Mr. Hamill Smith, members of the Executive Committee of the Third Force Movement, members of the various political organizations that represent this movement, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. The Alliance of Independence was born out of a group of citizens who firmly believe that good governance, equity, and fairness must be the underpinning of a democratic society. We in the AOI charted our course based on the philosophy that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And as such, we set our mission as, amongst other things, promoting the thinking and philosophy that there is a specific need for empowerment for the voter, the elector, and the citizen majority of our body politic. That we do this together with anyone or organization with similar aims. That we claim no monopoly of ideas or experience. That we seek to encourage by action the reform of electoral and governance systems. And as you just heard, the chairman made mention of the fair vote system. We seek in the AOI the recognition and respect for the views, perspectives, and policies of the non-aligned majority. This AOI mission formed part of our introductory salvo, as you would recall. And as such, when the opportunity presented itself to support and endorse the coming together of similar ideas, philosophies, and perspectives with the like-minded independent thinkers, we felt it in the best interest of mission accomplishment to lend our party support to this third force movement. We in the AOI have always spoken of inclusion rather than exclusion. We have always spoken to the premise that the minority in these polls will become a priority. And as the mass of non-aligned voters continues to expand, so too must those amongst us who have chosen to represent this core group. We who represent the core group of persons who are identified as third force voters must be politically mature to recognize that this third force movement united presents a much stronger front. The question will be asked, but this has been tried before. Yes, the answer is certainly, but does this stop us from continuing to try? Does this mean that we remain on the sidelines and simply wait to be included? This third constituency is an evolving constituency that will always develop through time in various forms. Notice that this evolving constituency has also been building and growing from 91,000 or thereabouts in 1981 to 147,000 or thereabouts in 2007. And now based on the continued polls that we're seeing in all of the printed media, this number continues to increase. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for those of us on the sidelines to get up and stand up and let your voices be heard. It is time for us to be a force to be reckoned with. The Alliance of Independence therefore supports this third force movement. The question will be asked again, that the AOI is a group of independents. Are you no longer independent? The answer is simple. We started as independent thinkers and we remain independent thinkers who will continue to forge a path where we can add to the force for transformation, where those who feel politically and electorally marginalized can feel inclusion, where those who feel politically and electorally locked out will be afforded an opportunity of choice that our policies and philosophies will make its way into the halls of governance as one thing is certain in these very uncertain political times is that the political entity that understands, recognizes, appreciates, and respects the third force will be the one in the halls of governance. And I want to repeat that because we need to get that abundantly clear. Whichever political entity recognizes, appreciates, respects, and understands the strength and what the third force brings to the table, recognizes, respects, and understands the trilogy of things that we, we, we have asked to be enforced, which includes campaign finance reform, a fair vote system, and looking at democratic renewal, will be the ones in the halls of governance. With these few words, ladies and gentlemen, I reiterate 
the Alliance of Independent Support for the Third Force Movement, and as the chairman said, may the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. Master of Ceremonies. Movement, political leader of the AY, and other members of the Leadership Council, all our colleagues who are gathered here representing the political parties and independents involved in this movement, and of course, members of the media. Greetings to you all. So I want, to, I want to start by saying to you here, but to all those who are listening, two words, no fear. No fear. Put the head louder. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. This is your country. Claim it. The third force is a party information, but it is a concept long in the making. And it represents the aspirations not only of the 30% people who <coughs> don't know if to bother to vote. But of, I would say, I dare say, a majority of those who even will vote, even those who are committed for one reason or the other, because of it, to other parties, not involved or committed at this time to the third vote. Those persons aspire, the majority of them aspire, to what we aspire to. So it is 30% today, but it is 50 and 60 and 70%, and it is most of Trinidad and Tobago that wants this. Most people want a system which is fair. People are committed to political blocks because they fear the other block. But they want to be freed from that fear. The majority want to be freed from that fear. People are supporting political parties today, and I will not attack anybody. It's not any value or for the use. But people are support, supporting political parties today and complaining about their party, complaining bitterly about it. But they feel trapped. They feel they have to support it. So I say to them as well, no fear. Stand up for what you believe in. And for those who are not committed, who are part of this movement today, once you commit to stand together, your voices will not only be heard, but if it is the master's plan, your will will be not only seen and felt, but it will infect every corner of this country. So yes, the National Alliance for Reconstruction stands in support of this two towards movement. It is something that we have worked tirelessly for over many years. It is the reason we have never given up after decades of being out of political office. People wonder why the NAR still carries on. After all, 1986 was so long ago. But it is because the things that we stood for then, we stand for now. And because we could never give up on something so important to this country. So we continue to strive for it, and today there is 
this opportunity to stand with others and to see it done that the Thirst Force Movement take life and take wings and put all those who feel that they are out of power, that their party is in power but they are out of power, that their party is out of power and they don't know what to do because this, this feels as if it's not their country. And for those who have defied the major blocks presented to them in continuing and unceasing warfare, for all those people who defy that, today is a good day for all of us. So we do not do this because of antagonism or enmity to any. We open our arms to even those who are political combatants even today. And we pray in time that they too will see this light. But for those who are committed already, I say to you, here is a chance, here is an opportunity for your power in combination with your colleagues, with all those others who stand with you. Here is an opportunity to realize, to begin to realize your dreams. You will hear us and you will hear the voice of the National Alliance for Reconstruction loud as ever in support of this Third Force Movement. <clears throat> we have a campaign ahead of us, so you will hear us. But we do not do this only for this campaign before us. We do this for the future. And so you will hear the Third Force Movement now and ongoing, striving to make this country ours again. Ours meaning a country that belongs to every creed and race every sector and every group of the country. Let's let me have my glass open. Every sector and every group of this country. We know that alone we can do this. Together we can do a lot. United. With the blessings of the Almighty, united. I say again, stand for what you do, no fear. Share that message. This is particularly directed to the media. <laughs> <laughs> you are our voices. Because we want you to distort what we say in our favor. But because in this modern age, we depend on you so much to share the message. So share with us and for us this very good news. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to be part of this new movement, which is as old as the hills. Mankind has been striving for unity. And with unity, he has achieved so much in this world. And united, we can achieve so much for our beautiful country. We continue to strive for these ideals. We believe that they will come true. To all of Trinidad and Tobago, no fear. Stand firm, stand for what you believe, and fight for what you believe. And we will achieve. Thank you very much. Thank you.